Our IEEE Embedded Linux classes provide the student with the experience necessary for developing not only embedded Linux applications, but also in the development of board support packages, BSPs, or device drivers. These three areas are the main areas of development when you're creating development systems or embedded target systems based on embedded Linux. In this second part of our two-part series for introduction to embedded Linux, we start with a review of our basic primitives that we learned about in the first part of the series, just as a starting point for the developer, as a reminder of what we've uh, covered already. We then use that as a jumping off point to get into more advanced applications development topics, including the use of advanced I.O. operations such as ePoll for creating more modern and lively uh, embedded Linux systems. We then also cover advanced memory operations. Advanced memory operations are very important for the security of embedded Linux systems. Memory problems are the most prevalent problems that the software developer will encounter in his position. So this course really helps the developer learn the methods for designing well-mannered and well-managed memory applications in embedded Linux. We also cover a more extensive view of uh, debugging embedded Linux systems uh, in our discussions of not only the use of GDB and the GDB server for uh, applications development debug, but also in our discussions of system level debug methods such as the use of Eclipse uh, for remote debug, the use of a uh, product called the Linux Trace Tool that's uh, now integrated into Eclipse, uh, as well as certain aspects of the Linux boot process such that the developer will gain an understanding of how interrupts figure into the process of the Linux embedded uh, boot situations and how that boot scenario differs in an embedded Linux context versus that of a desktop Linux context. A key aspect of managing embedded Linux development is the development of what we call the root file system. Linux simply cannot boot without the root file system. So the development of a root file system that suits the particular application's needs is a key factor in developing embedded Linux applications. Once we cover the development of root file systems and the Linux boot process itself, we can cover some more advanced topics uh, involving our testing and monitoring of the application when it is in execution. Uh, through these methods such as tracing and profiling with tools like gprof and oprofile, we're allowed to get a better insight into the performance aspects of the embedded Linux development system while it is in operation and without intruding too much into the uh, operation of the application uh, such as would be uh, required when we're doing a full remote debug. The IEEE Embedded Linux course series provides the student with the necessary skills for developing new and exciting embedded Linux applications, for developing and building new embedded Linux hardware platforms, and also for developing new and exciting device drivers in an embedded Linux context.